Hi friends, today is Friday, May 15th, 2020. Today I'm going to read to you a book called Pigs. Look how cute that little fella is. These little trotters, that's what his little feet are called. Snout. Pigs. Hello, pigs. Smiling. Short-legged pigs live on farms. Many stay in pig pens. Others walk around fields. All pigs have big ears and small eyes. Most have curly tails, too. Flat snouts help pigs dig for food. Pigs are good swimmers. Pigs like to be clean, but they also wallow in mud. That helps cool them off. A pig will eat almost anything. Farmers feed pigs corn, grains, or slops. Some pigs dig up plants and worms to eat. And slops is when the farmer gives them leftover food from our kitchens. A sow makes a nest for her piglets. The baby pigs drink milk. They nap in the hay. So the mama pig is called a sow. Smart pigs try to get out of their pen. They grunt and squeal. They sniff for food. Goodbye, pigs. So these are the parts of a, a pig. The tail, a close-up of the hair, legs, ears, snout, and this is their trotter or hoof. It's a close-up of that. I bet you could draw a picture of a pig and label it. All right. So this week I read Mrs. Wishy Washy's um, Farm. So today I'm going to read the original Mrs. Wishy Washy. Remember we saw this in the big book version, I think, in our classroom. Mrs. Wishy Washy, story by Joy Cowley. There's a very funny part in here. Don't laugh. Mrs. Wishy-Washy. Oh, lovely mud, said the cow. And she jumped in it. Oh, lovely mud, said the pig. And he rolled in it. Oh, lovely mud, said the duck. And she paddled in it. Along came Mrs. Wishy-Washy. Just look at you, she screamed. In the tub you go. In went the cow. Wishy-Washy, wishy-Washy. I have to pretend to wash her with my hands. In went the pig. Wishy-Washy, wishy-Washy. In went the duck. Wishy-Washy, wishy-Washy. Page. That's better, said Mrs. Wishy-Washy, and she went into the house. Away went the cow, away went the pig, away went the duck. Oh, lovely mud, they said. All right, and I will read one more story. These were all pretty short. This one's called Farmer Dale's Red Pickup Truck, and it's written by Lisa Wheeler. Here's the farm. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck hauled a load of hay. A bossy cow with eyes of brown was standing in the way. How about a ride? asked bossy cow. Hop in, said Farmer Dale. Move over, ordered bossy cow. There's no room for my tail. The truck bounced up. The truck bounced down. It spit and sputtered toward the town. Ooh, they're going pretty fast. Oh, man. There we go. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck was chugging right along. A woolly sheep came strolling by, bleating out a song. Room for war, sang woolly sheep. Fit me in somehow? No problem, answered Farmer Dale. Move over, a 
buttered cow. The truck bounced up and shimmied. It coughed and wheezed back down. The pickup spit a cloud of smoke and sputtered toward the town. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck hit a rocky bump. It swerved beside a roly pig, skating past the dump. Oh, my stars, squealed Ro Roly Pig. You folks just knocked me down. So sorry, Dale apologized. Need a ride to town? I do indeed, said Roly Pig. My skates are broken down. Climb aboard, sang Woolly Sheep. Move over, ordered Cow. The truck bounced up and groaned back down. It hiccuped twice and chugged toward town. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck slowly rattled on. A goat with an accordion stood grazing on the lawn. Can I squeeze in? asked the nanny goat. My pleasure, Farmer said. Bad idea, sang Wooly Sheep. The engine's almost dead. No room, lamented Roly Pig. We're overcrowded now. We'll make some room, said Farmer Dale. Move over, bossed the cow. The truck bounced up, the springs all popped, the bumper bumped, the pickup stopped. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck stood stranded in the road. It seems you have a problem, a cocky rooster crowed. We do, admitted Farmer Dale. The problem is we're stuck. The weight of all these animals is too much for my truck. Rooster eyed the animals. You're such a crazy group. I hate to cluck like mother hen, but who will fly the coop? I just squeezed in, said Nanny Goat. I'm faint, squealed Roly Pig. I won't move, said Bossy Cow. I'm boss of this red rig. Too bad for you, sang Woolly Sheep. The biggest has to go. Settle down, said Farmer Dale. Let's think now, nice and slow. I'll get out, the farmer said, and push us from the rear. Good idea, said Nanny Goat. Cow replied, I'll steer. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck didn't budge at all. Dale pushed until his face was red, and then he heard a call. Can I butt in, asked Nanny Goat. I'd like to lend a hoof. Rooster squawked, I'll point the way, then roosted on the roof. I'll pitch in, sang Woolly Sheep. I'll ram it with my head. Don't hog all the fun, said Roly Pig. Let's all help out instead. The pickup rocked and rumbled. It rolled an inch or so. It's moving, shouted Bossy Cow. The rooster crowed, too slow. Turn the key, said Farmer Dale. I can't, the cow replied. She's got no hands, explained the sheep. Farmer Dale just sighed. You should steer, said Bossy Cow. We'll move this heap along. The beasts all pushed together and sang a working song. The pickup bounced and shimmied. It groaned and squeaked and wheezed. It spit a thankful cloud of smoke and started with a sneeze. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck rumbled into town, calling goat and pig and sheep and cow with eyes of brown. Rooster roosting on the hood cried, Cock-a-doodle, cluck! Hip, hip, hooray for Farmer Dale in his red pickup truck. Talent contest, town park today. Well, that was a cute story. I liked that. All right, so let's look at our handwriting um, book. Yesterday, you did... Doo -doo 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 -doo. We did the letter Y. Today is going to be the lowercase letter J. Let me remind you about the uppercase letter J. Got my little whiteboard here today. So up at High Smiley, when we start the letter, we have our box. J, the uppercase letter J starts in the top middle and goes down and hooks around. And then he has a small line on top for his hat. Now the lowercase j looks very similar, except he doesn't have that same hat. Remember, there are the two first grade lines. We start at the middle and we go down, but we go past the line. It's a dirt digger. Goes past the line and curves up, and then right up here, not touching him, there's a tiny dot. 
Now remember, Mrs. Duncan doesn't like it when you do a big dot. You have to do a tiny dot, and it can't touch the J at all. He hovers right above. So today you're going to work on page 61 of your handwriting book, and you are going to practice the lowercase letter J's. Um, yesterday when I was cleaning um, part of our classroom, I put your things outside in a box in a bag. So like your portrait and your poetry notebooks out there. So if you can ask your parents to come and pick up your bag out of each of the boxes, that would be great. And you can have your poetry notebook for the summer to look at some of the work that you've done. All right, and I'm very sorry that I missed our Zoom yesterday. Mrs. Duncan's brain was not good yesterday. I hope to see you all on Tuesday. And Miss Ger Gerwig will come back next Thursday to do our lesson. And Mrs. Duncan won't forget. All right, have a great weekend.